Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an open wound and everything I'm using will be listed down below. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with some lash lash glue. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. And I'm just spreading this all over the palm of my hand. You can apply this anywhere you want. I'm just showing you on the palm of my hand just because it's easier. Um, but yeah, just blend that out and let it dry. Now, once it's dry, I'm going to powder it because it still is a little bit sticky and it's going to blend in with the skin a little bit more. Um, and then I'm just going to pick at it and make an indentation into the skin like it's been opened. Um, you don't want to make this too perfectly uniform. You want to make it nice and organic. And that was my mistake when I started. So I had to fix my mistake and make it a lot bigger than anticipated. Now I'm going to go in with a red matte lipstick but anything red will do and just go in and fill in the indentations with that and I'm also going to go around the area just to make it look irritated and blend it out with a finger um, and it's pretty simple you could use a liner and cream eyeshadow a regular eyeshadow and now I'm taking a purple dark purple eyeshadow and it wasn't working on this fluffy brush I used it later in the video and it works out that way but basically all I did here was just go over the edges with this to make it look like it was dirty and that's all I did um, so yeah now I'm taking a dark lip liner and just going around some edges and underneath of the little stringy pieces just to make it a lot darker in some places um, like it naturally would be and I do take this on the outskirts as, on the outer area as well now I'm taking a cream eyeshadow and just blending it out um, but this isn't necessary, but I needed help with the products I was using. Now, this is the purple eyeshadow I was trying to use before, and I'm just kind of veining it out and making it look like it's dirty and a little bit bruised and things like that. So I'm just taking it out like so on a liner brush. And now I'm just going to take a purple eyeshadow and that same purple eyeshadow and try and go in and darken it up a little bit more and help the other items blend too. Now I'm going in with a black cream eyeshadow, but you could use a eyeliner or just a regular black eyeshadow. It doesn't have to be cream. That's just what I wanted to use. And I'm just blending it in like so just to make those areas a lot darker so they're deeper. This is a dark red lip gloss, but the clip got deleted, but I just applied that in the indentations and around the outside, at, um, outside area too. And then this is a brighter red lip gloss, and I'm doing the same exact thing and just dabbing it out with my finger and keeping it concentrated in the indented areas so it looks like it's fresh. And this is the finished look, you guys. I'm sorry if it disturbs some of you, but I've been really inspired by the show Face Off lately, and I just wanted to see what I could do. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or telling me in the comments down below, and let me know what um, SFX makeup you want to see um, in another video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.